morning students in this particular class we will discuss about the next topic moments and associated numericals so what is mean by moments so moment is defined as the product of force into perpendicular distance moment is defined as it's a product of force multiplied by perpendicular distance so m equals f into d where f is the force force in newtons or kilo newtons newtons or in kilo newton d is the perpendicular distance in meters or in millimeters then moment m is the moment so it's the product of force into perpendicular distance where force is newton or kilo newton hence the unit of moment is newton meter or newton millimeter or kilo newton meter or kilo newton millimeter is a product of force into perpendicular distance let us move on to the numericals associated with this particular part so find the moment of 500 newton force the next numerical find the moment of 500 newton force about point a b c d and g shown in figure shown in figure so in this particular problem 500 newton force is given acting at both some certain points we have to compute the moment with respect to point a b c d and g for this we have to refer the given figure we have to refer the given figure this is the 500 newton force the inclination is given as 45 degree this is point a point b the total distance is 6 meter and this is point g this is point c point d this is also 6 meters and here to here distance is 3 meters and the total distance is 4 meters and this is also this distance is 4 meter so we have to determine the moment of 500 newton force with respect to point a b c d and g so first we will compute a uh, resolution of 500 newton force the first step is free body diagram the free body diagram is given by force is given by meter 
3 meter and this distance is 1 meter. The total distance is 4 meter. Now we have to resolve this in two directions. The first thing is direction of the force. With respect to this point, the direction of the force is away from the joint. Therefore, represent away and away. And the next thing is the inclination angle is cos theta. Therefore, it will become 500 cos 45 and horizontal will become 500 sin 45. 500 cos 45 and 500 sin 45. So this is the free body diagram. This particular force are acting here, here and here. This is the force 500 cos 45 and this horizontal force is 500 sin 45. Now the first is moment at joint A. Moment at A. So this is the point. We have to compute the moment with respect to this point. Here, how many total number of forces in the system? There are two forces. One is 500 cos 45, another one is 500 sin 45. With respect to this point, what is the definition of moment? The definition of moment is given by force into perpendicular distance. Force multiplied by perpendicular distance. With respect to this joint, this 500 cos 45 moving in the same point of action in vertical direction. This 500 cos 45 from here, it is moving on the point A. It is not having perpendicular distance. Hence, this 500 cos 45 multiplied by 0 because this 500 cos 45 moving at joint A at the same line of action. But this 500 sin 45 moving in a horizontal direction in the line of action of CD because of the perpendicular distance 4 meter, we take a turn towards A in clockwise direction. A turn towards A in clockwise direction. Hence, here we are using sign convention clockwise moment is positive and anti clockwise moment is negative. Clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative. With respect to joint A, this 500 sin 45 moving in clockwise direction. Hence it is positive. Therefore, plus, plus 500, 500 sin 45 multiplied by perpendicular distance is 4 meters. Perpendicular distance is 4 meters. This is clockwise. Clockwise, hence it is positive. Therefore, moment at A, moment at A equals this is zero plus what is the value of 500 sin 45 into 4? 1414 one, 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 Therefore, the total moment is 1414.21. The unit is Newton meter. Newton meter. Newton meter. It's a product of force into distance. The unit of moment here in this particular problem is Newton meter. The next point is moment at B. Moment at B. Moment at B. If you come to moment at B, if you come to moment at B, this particular force moving in this particular line of action VA, the perpendicular distance is 6 meter, it will take a turn in clockwise direction. It will take a turn in clockwise direction. Therefore, 500 cos 45 multiplied by perpendicular distance is 6 meters. 6 meter in which direction? In clockwise direction. This is clockwise direction. Hence, it is a clockwise direction. The uh, same convention is positive. This is plus. This is plus. Why it is positive? Because clockwise. And also this 500 sin 45 with a line of action CD. There is only two line of action. One is VA. 
under one is CD. With respect to point B, the DA is having perpendicular distance of 6 meter. With respect to point B, the CD is having the perpendicular distance of 4 meter. Both the forces, both the forces will move in clockwise direction. Will move in clockwise direction. Therefore, plus, plus this force. 500 sin 45 multiplied by perpendicular distance is 4 meters. 4 meters. What is the total thing? Both are clockwise. Both are clockwise. Both are clockwise. So what is the total? 500 cos 45 into 6 plus 500 sin 45 into 4. 3535.5. 3535. 0.5 Newton meter. This is also positive. Hence the this is also clockwise. Here also clockwise. Here also clockwise. And the next point is moment at C. Moment at C. Moment at C. This point C, but the CD is in the same line of action. Whatever the CD force, the point C is having same line of action. It won't have any perpendicular distance. The force is not having any perpendicular distance. Therefore, 500 sine 45 multiplied by 0. Because the 500 sine 45 moves in the same line of action. It's not having perpendicular distance. But this DA moving in vertical direction the perpendicular distance is 6 meter with respect to the C the force of direction moving clockwise direction therefore plus 500 cos 45 multiplied by perpendicular distance is 6 meters this is also clockwise the sign convention is positive so this is 0 plus 500 cos 45 to 6 what is the answer 2121.32 2121.32 Newton meter which is also positive as it is also clockwise so moment at A positive clockwise moment at B positive value clockwise moment at C positive value clockwise next the moment at D Moment at D. If you come at moment at D, both DA, that is 500 cos 45 and DC, 500 sin 45, both the forces are acting at same line of action. Both the forces, vertical as well as horizontal forces, are moving at same line of action. Both the forces are not having any perpendicular distance to so 0 plus 500 cos 45 into 0. The total moment produced at point D is 0. The total moment produced at point D is 0 because both vertical as well as horizontal forces will produce it from the same point, same line of action. Hence the moment at D is 0. Next, the moment at G. Moment at G. Moment at G. This is the point. This is the point. Moment at G. With respect to this point, the vertical force moving in this direction with the perpendicular distance of 6 meter. With the perpendicular distance of 6 meter. Therefore, 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 500, 500, cos 45, cos 45 into 6, into 6. That is moving in clockwise direction and it is plus and also this particular thing CD moving in the line of action of CD is having the perpendicular distance of 3 meters but at point B it is having perpendicular distance of 4 meters but at point G it is having perpendicular distance of 3 meters therefore plus 500 sin 45 into 3 it's also moving in clockwise direction clockwise direction hence it is positive so what is the total moment at G total moment at G is 500 cos 45
45 into 6 plus 500 sin 45 into 3. So total 3181.98. Newton meter. Newton meter. And this is also positive, hence showing clockwise direction. This is how we have to compute the moment with respect to each point. So very very important the sign convention. Here we have assumed that clockwise moments are positive, anti-clockwise moments are negative. In this particular problem, only one inclined force is given. For that inclined force, we have computed the moment with respect to each given joints A, B, C, D, and G. This is a very very important problem, a very very basic problem. Please follow these rules, follow these sign conventions to get accurate answers. I hope you are getting how to compute moments. Thank you.